All right, hey guys, today we got a simple and easy video. I'm going to be showing you how to actually take your cartridge games and convert the save files to your computer. So if you want, you can use them on an emulator legally since you actually back at the games yourself. And also I'm going to show you how to transfer the save files back because uh, transferring them to your computer is easy, but transferring them back is a little bit harder. So right now I'm going ahead and backing up my Zelda games so I can have my legal backup ready for this process. Uh, seven megabytes left. And then I'm going to boot it up and show you my save file. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it through the emulator make a change and then I'm going to send it back to the actual cartridge. So this is going to be pretty fun. All right, and here we go. Now that the game's done dumping, we can go ahead and transfer over the save file. All right, so remember we have to do two steps if you saw my review that will definitely remind you. We got to dump the SRAM which is a save file from the cartridge to the UFO. And then we got to do uh UFO to SD card. And let's just go ahead and Put it in here, press start, and I have Star Fox in my storage, so that's what's going to name it. We're just going to call it Zelda, I guess, or Z2. I already have a Z1. Space all that out. Dot. SRM. The problem is if you don't actually type in that SRM manually when you change the name, it sometimes doesn't name your file, but that's fine. All right, we got both on our thing. So let's go ahead and I'll show you my save file so I can show you what we're editing. And here's my save file. I'm actually save slot two. I bought this game used, so I had someone who's quite a bit higher, farther in the game than I am. So all right, here are the other two save files. That's what we're going to be looking at. Let's go ahead and turn this off and plug the SD card into our computer. All right, and here's our SD card. I called it SNES just to make it easier. So we want to copy over both the save file and our ROM. If you already have your ROM dumped, you can just you don't have to worry about that. All right, in order to use this for our emulator, we have to have both the save file and the ROM have the exact same name. So we're going to rename this, copy the name, and paste it in here. Then, if you're using SNES 9X, which I think is the most popular one, you actually have to make sure all your save files are in the same folder. So you can't just have them side by side. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and cut it. We go to the save folder, which is right here. Just go ahead and paste it in. All right, after we paste the file, we should be good to go. All right, now go back to where you store your game, which I put mine in my example folder, and go ahead and start it up. Hopefully this isn't too loud. All right, and here we go. Here's our save file, exactly as we had it on the cartridge, which is awesome. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete that first save file in the last one. So delete that one, yes. Okay, that was a weird sound. Anyway, now we're gonna delete this one too. So all that's left is my save file. All right, and now we can just exit, I guess. Oops, uh, we said new save file. All right, we'll call this new save file. There we go. All right, start the game. Now let's reset the game to make sure all those changes are still applied. Reset game. Make sure we're still good. And there we go. All right, so now we can quit this. Go back to where your save files are stored. All right, so the converting a save file is the hard part. It's eight kilobytes, and it used to be 128 kilobytes. If we try to use the save file on the UFO, it won't actually work. So what we have to do is there's a cool program called uh, uConvert64. Uh, it's a command line program, so it's a little bit of hard to remember all the steps and stuff. But I made a script that will let you easily convert your save files. So all you have to do, go up here. It will say, please drag and drop your save file. Oh yeah, the one thing you have to remember in this program is you have to keep it inside a folder. You can't put this script in the root of your SD card. So just copy this entire folder to wherever you want to keep it. I'm putting on my SD card in this SNES convert folder. Anyway, so just drag and drop your file. I'm going to drag and drop Zelda Nod. And press enter. And if everything goes correctly, it should say process complete. Then just check your converted folder. And you'll see you now have two files. One's 33 kilobytes. I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, and one is 128 kilobytes, which is what we need. So let's go ahead and 
go back to our SD card. All right, so now copy this new file over to .srm. And once we have the SRM copied, all we have to do is go back to put it, the SD card in our UFO. Power it on, and here we go. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to show it anyway. So now we got to do SRAM SD card to UFO. Find the save file we just made, zeldanod.srm. Transferred. All right, now we want to do uh, UFO to cartridge. And it just copies it over just like that. All right, now let's go ahead and boot up our cartridge and see if the save file has been changed. And there we go. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a little de delay on the little preview window you're watching. But yeah, the first save file is gone. We replaced the, the third save file, and my second save file is totally just fine. And yeah, so yep, that sh if you have a bunch of cartridges laying around, you want maybe the batteries are low and you want to back up the save files, you just want to play them on your computer for a bit using a legal backup method, this is certainly a way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you have a UFO and you're trying to convert emulator saves to it, this is the exact same process you'd use. You just convert the save files and you put them on here and then you can just boot them up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess I'll see you later on for the next one. All right, bye.